Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to use the 50 Dragon Scale VDM brushes from the ArtStation store. For this tutorial, I'm just going to use a old dragon sculpt that I created a couple of years ago, and I'm going to show you how to use the two VDM brushes, which you can purchase from my online store. So the first thing you want to do is download the brushes and then open them up inside of ZBrush. And we're just going to go over to the little brush icon on the left hand side and click on it and come down to low brush. And once we get to the file we want, uh, you'll see these two brushes called Dragon Scale 01 VDM and Dragon Scale 02 VDM. I split them up into two different brushes so that it was easier to upload into ZBrush because it can get quite heavy when you're using VDM brushes. So it's best to split them into two brushes, both having 25 scales, unique scales created in each one. And uh, you want to just go ahead and open both brushes. I've already done that inside of ZBrush. And if you take a look in the brush menu here on the far right, there is the Dragon Scale 01 and Dragon Scale 02. So I'm just going to select Dragon Scale 01. And what's going to happen is it's just going to give you a bunch of VDM brushes along the top, 25 in total, each one a unique scale that you can then go ahead and making sure that you have one selected that you like. And I'm going to use uh, symmetry on this one as it's just a test. You can just go ahead and start testing on your model. Now, before you start testing on your model, you need to make sure that you have enough topology on your model so that the details come out using this brush. Another good bit of advice or tip is to, when using these scales, to work from the bottom of your model down here and work your way up the model using these brushes. The reason why I say that is because if you start at the end of your scale and then you try to drag and drop another scale on top of that, the VDM is going to create some warping on your previous scale that you added. So the best thing to do is to work from the bottom of your character and work up. Be very careful and, and, and make sure that you, you get the desired effect that you like. You can also add this to a layer on your model. If you go over to the far right, if I just undo all these, if you're not sure if it's going to work or not, you can add it to a layer. So you just add a new layer under layers and then start to draw out the scales how you like them. And then if you want and you think this is too much influence on these scales, you can then drop it by using the slider or typing in a number that you prefer to have the influence of the scales reduced or exaggerated. Once you've done that, we can then go ahead and bake that layer down. And now you have your scales on your model at a less um, affected intensity making sure that when you do use these scales, the best results come with Z intensity at 100, but it is not necessary to have it at 100. You can actually drop the scale intensity as far as you like. Just bear in mind that you will then lose a little bit of that detail. So once you're, and if we just have a look at the other one quick, the other dragon brush, this one has a lot more bigger scales that you can use. So if I just bring that to 100 again, these ones 
a much bigger, as you can see, the influence on the spawn is being affected when, when drawing out with the VDM. So you're best to mask out areas where you don't want it to be affected in control and drag in a lasso. If you haven't got a lasso that you could just click on the stroke over here and select lasso. And then just draw out your scales. Now these are typically the bigger ones that you find on dragons, but you can just by dragging very small scales, get the same effect as the smaller scale. It's very much a technique to use um, at a point where you are happy with your model. I wouldn't try to use this in the blocking out stage. This is typically used when you're ready to move on to detailing your, your creature uh, further and you're past blocking out stage, but you're, you just want to throw some designs onto your character before committing and going in and detailing further. And there's also a time saver if you are running out of time and you want to do a concept, real quick concept, you can then just go ahead and use these brushes to quickly draw out some scales on your character or creature. So let's say that's done. So I'm just going to change the brush to move brush. So I have a few examples of other ones that I've created. So I'm just going to take a look at what we can achieve with these brushes. So as you can see, in a matter of 10, 20 minutes, you can actually block out your whole character in these scales and with random designs or, or multiple designs using these scales and then cut, go further and detail and customize at your own time. But for something like a production where you're asked to concept a dragon and they want to see multiple variations of what your dragon could look like, it's best to use a technique like this to quickly get your character uh, with scales on it or as a concept piece. I hope this has been really handy and helpful for everyone. And uh, if you enjoy my artwork or you enjoy using my brushes there are plenty more on my art station gumroad and my flip normal site where you can grab everything uh, from there i have also got high poly models of past mod projects that i've created where you can take that model and develop it further if you're a beginning artist and you want to cut the uh, high poly modeling out that stage and you just want to learn how to low poly uh, model as well as UV map and texture, then those are great starting points for you because you already have a model ready for you. As well as other tutorials and uh, artist talk over tutorials or time lapse lapses where I talk over old YouTube videos which I've created and I give my insight on how I created them uh, for you. I hope this has been helpful. And uh, I'll see you real soon. Take care.